from Tokyo still, but it's on the way, and it, conditions there are going to get worse and worse through the afternoon. Let's look at the latest stats now from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. 105 miles per hour on the wind speed, moving northeast at 18, so it's beginning to accelerate now in that direction, and bad weather is now spreading up the coast. Of course, we have a lot of rain here. This is the radar, all the blues and the reds and the yellows. That is heavy rain with some gusty winds in there, although I did look at a lot of observations, guys, all up and down the coast, and I couldn't find winds over about 25 to 30 miles per hour right now. Hopefully, maybe the strong winds will stay offshore, but unfortunately, we'll be dealing with a lot of heavy rain, no doubt about that. And when you talk about the totals, look at some of these numbers. 3 to 5 easy, 8 to 5, no problem. There may be even some 8 to 12 amounts hidden in there somewhere as well. And I think most of the heavy rain will be restricted to, I would say, the eastern half of the island nation. But still, that's very populated areas. You talk about Sendai, Tokyo, Hamamatsu, Osaka, Hiroshima. Lots and lots of rain, potentially flash flooding as well. Maybe some mudslides. Uh, watch out. It's going to be a very uh, difficult day, I think, across that region. This is weakening on its way northeastward. That's good news. I don't expect wind gusts over maybe 60, 70 miles per hour at most in Tokyo, and that would be in the gusts. We'll see how it all turns out, but it does appear now that the worst of all the winds will be offshore and weakening. But the bigger story potentially in the near term in terms of just tropical cyclone activity in the West Pacific is this new one, Vongfong. This is a long way south east of Fanfeng, and this one is getting very close to Guam right now. 105 on the wind speed, but I think it's going to get a lot stronger than that, guys. On this microwave imagery, which is like an MRI looking inside of the storm, you can see where the worst of it is going. That way, right? There's the eye, that little spot right in there, and all the bad weather surrounding that. So it's going that way, and Guam is right here. So they may miss the really bad part of the storm, if you can see that. So that would be good news right now at Anderson Air Force Base on Guam. Their sustained wind is out of the west at 24 miles per hour. The center of the storm, I believe, it's hard to tell in this image, but it's right, I think, about here. And this is the island of Rota, and it may get very close to them. We'll see. I can't get any observations out from them right now. We'll just have to wait and see if any come in. But the idea is that there may be some hurricane force wind gusts for them as well uh, over the next, say, 12 hours or so. But then this goes farther off to the east, guys, and may indeed become a super typhoon with 150 mile per hour winds in a couple of days. Keith, back to you. All right, thank you, Dr. Postel. As he just showed you, right now, Typhoon Fanfan is raking Japan's small southern islands with strong winds and uh, heavy rain as well as some big waves. Yeah, later today, the island nation's mainland will be in the crosshairs, including Osaka and Tokyo, a city of 13.5 million people. Let's hear from NBC now. Well, up until a couple of days ago, there were no warnings as such or any sense of preparation. Uh, there were only routine reports on TV that Typhoon number 18, it was then called, now named Fan Phone, was approaching Japan. But given the how, how commonplace they are, the number of them a year, and how unpredictable typhoons can be, people really weren't paying that much attention. However, over the past 48 hours, Japanese radio and television have been issuing heavy rain and strong wind warnings given the force with which Fan Phone struck at the southern islands earlier today, leaving some 21,000 homes without power and forcing cancellations of at least 150 domestic commercial flights. So as Fan Phone moves northeast along Japan's uh, Pacific coast, it's supposed to significantly weaken, but it's still projected to hit Tokyo tomorrow morning with more heavy rain and wind gusts up to 98 miles per hour. Now there's already been a number of evacuation or Orders for hundreds of families and people here in Tokyo are being advised now to stay at home tomorrow. But there's little chance of that on a Monday morning, this being Tokyo and they being Japanese. So things could get extremely disruptive and very chaotic as well. For the Weather Channel, I'm Jim Maceda reporting from Tokyo. How do we get a little fun in the sun for free? I stayed one time. We stayed another time. And now we're all staying one night free. Great endings begin here. Right now, when you book at any of these Choice Hotels and take two separate trips, you earn one night free. Book now at choicehotels.com. This is a pip. It's part of a Hershey's bar. We break it. We bite it. We sneak it. We smush it. We savor it. We love it. Hershey's is mine. Yours. Our chocolate. Snack time! On it. Isn't this my breakfast cereal? It's also a snack. So it's snack real. 
Clever. Your favorite cereals at any time of day. All at unbeatable Walmart prices. Guaranteed by Savings Catcher. Save money, live better. Walmart. Ring, ring. Progresso. It's okay that your soup tastes like my homemade. It's our slow-simmered vegetables and tender white meat chicken. Apology accepted. I'm watching you, soup people. Make it Progresso or make it yourself. You know what my business philosophy is, Reynolds? No, not exactly. To attain success, I must project success. That's why we use FedEx One Ray. They're flat rate shipping. Exactly. It makes us look top notch, but we know it's affordable. Honey, haven't I asked you to please we use the reception entrance? We don't have a reception entrance. entrance. Ship a pack via FedEx Express Saver for as low as $7.50. Gorilla tape, of course. Gorilla tape's double thick adhesive grips rough and uneven surfaces for a strong, weather resistant hold for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Nothing beats the timeless look of confidence. This week only, Men's Warehouse has select designer suits on sale for just $199.99. Plus, buy one, get one free on just about everything else in the store. Confidence suits you only at Men's Warehouse. Zantac Heartburn Alert! Stop! Nexium can take 24 hours to work. Zantac's different. Zantac rushes relief in as little as 30 minutes. For relief without the wait, try Zantac. No pill relieves heartburn faster. We all think about life insurance. But when we start worrying about tomorrow, we miss out on the things that matter today. At AXA, we offer advice and help you break down your insurance goals into small, manageable steps. Because when you plan for tomorrow, it helps you live for today. Can we help you take a small step? For advice, retirement, and life insurance, connect with AXA. Monday morning on America's Morning Headquarters. Well, you might say we're bugging out over what some are calling the food of the future. Higher in protein than meat and more eco-friendly, but what's the catch? And on our It's Amazing Road Tour, it's fall out there, highlighting our favorite fan photos. Send them in Monday, 7 a.m. on the biggest weather hour anywhere, America's Morning Headquarters. Currently in our area, 76 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, a mix of clouds and sun. High 81. Winds north at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, some clouds, low 67. Winds north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Weather Center Live. I'm Keith Carson. And I'm Mark Elliott. And as you watch our show today, send us pictures of what you are up to. We want to live vicariously through you. Through social media, you can use the hashtag YourWeekend, and then we get views like this one. Look this at that. This is pretty. Yeah, Myrtle Beach. Yeah, uh, Douglas sent that one in. Pretty awesome. Uh, you, know, you got the sun, the clouds, the water. I was thinking that we could uh, do a segment where you took a, a selfie in front of a cloud. Uh huh. I don't know what we'd call it, but like a shelfie is the thing that people talk sure. about. And just have your face like... Could have legs. You don't seem to like it. Let's just. I think on. it's the best idea I've ever heard, Keith. It's, it's, it'd be this mat with all these conclusions you could jump to. <laughs> I see yeah. what you did there. <laughs> all right, hey, let's talk about there. what's going on in the in Northeast, because yesterday, rough day today. Uh, beautiful. Look at this. You know, we showed the same camera yesterday morning, and you could not see any of the buildings. Uh, now, looking gorgeous, and it's actually going to be warming up in New York. Not so much today, but we'll take you down to Times Square now, looking good there as well. You know, the interesting thing is, even though the weather was awful yesterday, it was still packed in Times Square. People still hanging out. Uh, gradual warm-up for the Northeast 
Today, temperature's actually very similar to yesterday, but it was raining and foggy yesterday, so a lot better today, even though the temperatures are about the same. But eventually, we'll warm up. New York right now, 51. So look, it's not warm, but it being sunny really, really helps. Remember, the sun angle this time of the year is still relatively strong, too. So being in the shade versus being in the sun is going to make a huge difference. Take a look at Augusta coming in at 57. Uh, earlier today, Caribou, Maine was warmer than Tampa, Florida because we had the jet stream digging this way, keeping some somewhat warmer air across New England. So temperatures continuing to rise here for the next couple of hours. But overall, we still have a troughed out pattern here with the jet stream down here. And look at this monster upper level low. This is a sign of the seasons. Forget the pumpkin spice latte thing. We've got this big low just stalled over Canada. It's a really, really deep low. It's gonna rotate systems around it but it's gonna allow temperatures to warm up at least a little bit through early week ahead of another cold front. So you sneak a day or two in before another front comes through and brings you back down. That's kind of how things go in fall. It's hard to stay warm in an extended period of time. So today, 60 in Boston, 61 in New York, DC coming in around 64, that's pretty pleasant. By tomorrow, warmer, coming in at 67 in Boston, 75 in DC, so a little tease there and then getting even a little bit warmer here in spots on Tuesday, 72 in New York and 70 in Boston. Again, it should be pretty nice and then Tuesday showers come back into the forecast. Your average high is 68. We're going to go into the low 70s here by Tuesday and Wednesday. That's one part of the story. The other part of the story is that it is going to remain unsettled. Even though temperature is going to warm up here on Monday into Tuesday, we're going to see the system rotating around it. So this is a jet stream uh, dip remaining persistent. Again, staying troughed out. And along that big upper level low, these little impulses of energy kind of come along. So they're not very heavy as far as rainfall goes, but they give us some clouds and some showers and onshore flow in a lot of spots in through the Northeast. So that's what's going to happen on Tuesday and Wednesday. The showers will continue through tomorrow. They'll be moving out of the Eastern Great Lakes into the Ohio Valley. Uh, some severe weather, by the way, in the Mid-South, not so much though in the Northeast. By Tuesday, showers and storms now in through parts of Pennsylvania, upstate New York, New England, and then Wednesday, a really rough day in through from my people in Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, maybe some heavier downpours there. The foliage, by the way, peak there. So every nice day like today, get out there and enjoy that because we're going to see some rain after that. Thunderstorms a possibility as well on Monday and Tuesday and then to the mid 60s on Wednesday. Mark? Well, Keith, speaking of storms, the south is going to get back to a very warm pattern, at least temporarily, and some big storms. So we're going to warm up first. We're going to show you those temperatures and then get into that stormy regime. Look at some of these high temps that are possible, though. It looks like Oklahoma City has the best chance of tying the record of 94, but it'll be plenty warm in Dallas by Tuesday, 95. The forecast in Shreveport, 91, all within a couple of degrees of the record. So we'll fine tune that forecast. Maybe we'll get to record temps. Right now, still a nice fall chill. 70 in Dallas, 67 in Little Rock. Over here in Atlanta, where you woke up in the 30s and 40s, it's still in the 50s right now. So it is plenty chilly for the moment, but this jet stream is going to be bending to the north. The southerly winds are going to come back into play, and that's going to help to really warm things up. So we are going to be much warmer here across the south over the next couple of days. And we'll show you just how warm we're talking, because today, although you're already in the mid-80s for Oklahoma City and Dallas, get ready for the next couple. By tomorrow, 90 in in Dallas, 85 in Houston, 84 in Jackson, and then on Tuesday, 95 in Dallas, 94 in Oklahoma City, and even all the way here at the base of the Appalachian chain, Atlanta, you are going to be warming up considerably from where you are right now. Again, it comes with a bit of a cost as the rain and the storms are going to be coming back into play. We've got this disturbance that Keith was telling us about, these series of weak lows riding along that conveyor belt known as the jet stream, and that's going to be the focal point for kicking up some some stormy weather. Of course, you've got the heat coming back and the southerly winds, which means the moisture is also coming back. So with that combination, we've got the chance of some severe weather. It looks like much of Arkansas, uh, over towards Memphis, Nashville, you have the chance of seeing some of those big storms with hail and wind being the biggest threats. But the rain will be a threat as well as it will be persistent thunderstorm activity Monday into Monday night, continuing Tuesday, especially over the Tennessee Valley, maybe into northern Mississippi, northern Alabama and north Georgia as well by then. So but look at Nashville. Monday, the storms arrive. Tuesday, stormy. Wednesday, showers. Thursday, stormy. That's each one of those little impulses coming on through, Keith. So once the rain shows up, we're going to have a hard time getting rid of it. All right, thanks, Mark. But the honky tonks will still be open in Nashville. That's what's important. Fall foliage, hey, a big highlight this time of the year for many people. And there are few places with better shots of the changing fall colors than the ski country of the Rockies. Haley O'Brien takes us to the motherland of great foliage shots. 
Kelly O'Brien here, and I am just thrilled. It's the beginning of October, and that is exciting for two reasons. One, foliage is peaking. Oh yeah, baby. Two, snow is falling. It's like highs and lows, peaks and falls. It's just, it's, it's all of the good things. So many resorts are posting photos of the snow and the foliage in one shot. It's like, I can't process it. My thumb hurts from all of the double tapping and the liking and the, are you reading my credit card information? Stop it. What was I talking about? Oh yes, my thumb was hurting. So I perused a bunch of the Facebook pages of resorts that are posting these snowy, foliagey photos and wanted to share them with you. You're welcome. Check this out from Copper Mountain. They actually started snow making, which is like a double whammy. It's like natural snow, man-made snow. Aspen Snowmass always delivering the eye candy. I can't get enough. Steamboat, yeah, them too. Winter Park took an interesting approach. They didn't go for the beautiful vista so much as they went with crooked, inanimate objects. Hey, relatable, we all have objects. No, I'm just kidding, they actually did a really nice montage, which, what else do we have? Oh yeah, tell your eye, they got a little creative, you know, a little snow graffiti. Ha, love it. We have a visitor. She's taking a picture of the foliage. We have a leaf peeper, a real life leaf peeper behind me. Hold on. You gotta get a picture of the moose though. Oh. oh, no, that is a moose. I take it back. <laughs> I was going to say, well, you know what? I'm from New Jersey, so we don't have moose or elk or anything. We just have big deer. Yeah, anyway, it's winter. It's fall. It's, it's both, really. So question of the day, which season do you like better, fall or winter, and why? I'm Hallie O'Brien, and I'll see you next time. Well, that was something. That was one of the weirdest things I've ever seen <laughs> on our air. We're just saying something because we're, we're kind of well, weird. We are. But she had a lot of enthusiasm. Yeah, love and that. And, that. And I agree with her passionate views of the leaves and the snow because I love seeing those too. I just never thought I would see it like that. Took a photo of her mouth. Yeah. All right. Awesome. What a guy In any case, <laughs> we'll take a look at your seven-day forecast coming up. You yeah, know. there's a, there's a lot of rain on the horizon for people in the southeast and parts of the Midwest. And over 600 hot air balloons are gathered in Albuquerque for the International Balloon Fiesta. We'll take you there next. Currently in our area, 77 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, a mix of clouds and sun. High 81. Winds north at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, some clouds, low 67. Winds north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Why do you want to shop at Walmart now for October's hottest items? Because you need to find happiness on rollback. In every aisle. Get thousands of items. Now on rollback. Save money, live better. Walmart. There are two reasons why I need to keep an eye on my health. Oh. That's why I take Metabiotic, a daily probiotic. With 70% of your immune system in your gut, new multi-health Metabiotic with Bioactive 12 helps maintain digestive balance and is proven to help support a healthy immune system. I take care of myself so I can take care of them. <laughs> Experience the Meta Effect with our new multi-health wellness line and see how one small change can lead to good things. Here's a new trick for the same old dinner. Try Unsloppy Joe's. Grand's Biscuits. Make dinner. Pop. We're three generations of one family working on a piece of land here. Oh my god, it's back! This living facing danger every day. Ooh. Alaska The Last Frontier. New season on Discovery. He dropped 40 grand on a new set of wheels. Then wham! A minivan T-bones you. Guess what? 
Your insurance company will only give you $37,000 to replace it. Depreciation, they claim. How can my car depreciate before its first oil change, you ask? Maybe the better question is, why do you have that insurance company? With Liberty Mutual New Car Replacement, we'll replace the full value of your car. See car insurance in a whole new light. Liberty Mutual Insurance. If you have moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis like me, and you're talking to your rheumatologist about a biologic, this is Humira. This is Humira helping to relieve my pain and protect my joints from further damage. Doctors have been prescribing Humira for 10 years. Humira works by targeting and helping to block a specific source of inflammation that contributes to RA symptoms. It's proven to help relieve pain and stop further joint damage in many adults. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Before treatment, get tested for TB. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common. And if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections or have flu-like symptoms or sores, don't start Humira if you have an infection. Talk to your doctor and visit Humira.com. This is Humira at work. Great. This is the last thing I need. Seriously? The last thing you need is some guy giving you a new catalytic converter when all you got is a loose gas cap. Let's take this puppy over to Midas and get you some of the good old Midas touch. You know what? I'll drive. I really didn't think this through. Get the Midas Touch maintenance package, including an oil change, for only $24.99. And here's the deal. Use your Midas credit card and get a rebate of $25. Oil, tires, brakes, everything. Trust the Midas Touch. Hey, have you guys heard about probiotics for digestive health? Yes, and did you know that True Biotics is a daily probiotic that helps in two ways? It supports digestive and immune health by working in your gut, where 70% of your immune system lives. Try True Biotics today. Hershey's Spreads. Bring the delicious taste of Hershey's chocolate to anything. Everything. With Hershey's Spreads, the possibilities are delicious. Welcome back to Weather Center Live, and look at that. Today, it is the largest air show in the country's last day. It's his third and final day of dazzling crowds in San Diego. The show is held at Marine Corps Air Station at Miramar, and 250,000 people are expected to attend today. Thing is, it's really hot there. So if you are going to the event, Grab some extra bottles of water. It's even hot by San Diego standards, which often is you know, known as being one of the most beautiful places in the whole country. But the West has seen this persistent ridge as of late, and it has been quite warm. So for today, 94 in Phoenix, 92 in Los Angeles, right? 92 in LA. And so even San Diego, you're going to be upper 80s to low 90s. Quite warm if you're sitting in the sun watching and staring up at the sky the whole day. So, you know, bring some extra bottles of water. Try to schedule in some break time if you can. The other thing to point out here is look at all the green green on the map. Yeah, today's really quiet. It's a bit of an anomaly in the weather world. The weather's somewhere, it's just not here. And it comes back here tomorrow. So today is the calm before the storm happening on a weekend. That's good news. By tomorrow, though, we get one of our impulses riding along our jet stream and some severe weather possible from outside of Little Rock all the way over through the Nashville area. Hail, wind, maybe even an isolated tornado threat, although that's not the it's not the biggest threat. It's not the best setup for tornadoes, which is good news. We will, however, see plenty of rain, plenty of storms, and persistently nasty weather unless you love the rain because the rain's going to stick around on Tuesday even into Wednesday we've got this uh, series of systems that's rotating along this trough so uh, time and time again we're going to see uh, not only reinforcing blasts of cool air like Minneapolis 56 Chicago 58 but also some of those showers we work our way into Thursday and uh, here we go again another setup where we're going to see moisture returning from the Gulf as one of those impulses come on through it really is dividing the country from the very cool fall feel to the still summer like temperatures 90 in Dallas 84 in Atlanta but in the mid 50s north of that rain and so that rain is the cutoff spot for you by Friday really the center of the country all the way through the mid-Atlantic you're on that dividing border with scattered showers and uh, cool to the north and warm to the south we'll look at the west again uh, as we head towards next next weekend because that's our next storm system coming into play still very quiet
riot in drought-stricken California. Keith, over to you. All right, thanks, Mark. Well, teams from four nations with over 600 balloons are in Albuquerque this weekend for their International Balloon Fiesta. Today's big liftoff remains doubtful due to high upper-level winds and a static display, though, still possible. Pilots are being cautious. Joining us now via Skype is Chris Sabia. He is piloting the Wonder Balloon. And Chris, you look ready to rock here, but what's the latest as far as the takeoff goes? Well, good morning. We actually didn't get to fly this morning because the upper level winds were too fast, but we did get to stand the balloon up for some static displays. Okay, now static display, I think I have an idea what you're talking about, but you just basically inflating them so people can see them uh, lined up? Correct. We don't actually fly. We just stay on the ground with the balloons. Okay, great. So what do you think, what kind of wind conditions do you need to be able to safe lift off? We like to have winds about 10 miles an hour or less on the surface and then upper level winds, you know, 1,000 to 1,500 feet, 10 to 15 miles an hour is usually what we like to see. Anything below that's great and anything above that we kind of watch very closely. Okay, now the nine day festival, beautiful to watch. We talked about the static displays, but it's also a race. Talk about how you navigate through the hundreds of balloons uh, in a safe way and, and try to win this race. Sure, we actually use the wind to navigate. We take off from a spot downrange and we'll fly into Balloon Fiesta Park and try to navigate using the winds to come as close to a determined point as possible. All right, and what is the science behind uh, landing and taking off? This is obviously like the key to any kind of flight, right? So uh, sure. talk to me about that. Sure, we watch weather so closely and, and weather becomes a big part of what we do. Uh, we use the, the wind forecast and the weather forecast to determine whether we can fly or not, where we're gonna take off from, an area of where we're gonna land. Um, we let actually little helium balloons go and we kind of watch the directions using a compass and, and take compass readings and do that. All right, thank you, Chris, very much. Uh, hopefully you get a safe takeoff there shortly because he is ready to go in that balloon. And you can follow him on social media at Wonderbread and hashtag Spot the Wonder. Sometimes people hashtag Spot the Wonder when they see Mark Elliott too. Right, Mark? I, I doubt that, no? but it's because uh, <laughs> uh, I'm very white and very bald and I get confused for Wonder Bread all the time. In any case, our eyes are still on the tropics. Two separate typhoons. Both could do damage and both could be very strong. We'll get the details from the lab and Dr. Greg Postel next. loses power, it can be tough for your family. But not if your family has a Kohler generator. Restores power automatically in as little as 10 seconds and is backed by a five-year limited warranty. Kohler Generators. Keep your family flowing. When the power goes out, you'll go on. Contact your Kohler Generators dealer today. Now, Centrum Silver has a new easy-to-swallow coating. So the nutrients for your eyes heart, and brain go down easier. For a limited time, get your $4 coupon at Centrum.com. You're going to want to watch 7 a.m. on AMHQ. This is a big weather morning. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What you watch in the morning matters. It's your weather geeky this morning. Make AMHQ your morning show. America's morning headquarters. Weekday morning starting live at 7 Eastern on the Weather Channel. Supernatural, premiering tonight at 10 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 77 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, a mix of clouds and sun. High, 81. Winds north at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, some clouds. Low, 67. Winds north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook.
This is Phyllis. Phyllis is headed to a science conference, so she's not thinking about tires right now. But if she were, all she'd need to know is TireRack.com. She could view the complete selection of Continental tires at TireRack.com. Then she'd have the confidence to drive safely in any weather. But Phyllis isn't thinking about tires. Phyllis is thinking, uh, well, I'm not really sure, but it's probably important. TireRack.com. Find, deliver, install. It was the best day. It was the best day. a great pair great pair huh? progressive and the great outdoors we make a great pair right totally uh that's what i was thinking mm -hmm. covering the things that make the outdoors great now that's progressive call or click today With five perfectly sweetened whole grains, you can't help but see the good. Look for Big G cereals with money-saving offers on these breakfast favorites and give your budget a boost. Let's do a reality check. Kids will be kids. Dogs will be dogs. So let's get some paint that's more than just paint. Made to stand up to this and look beautiful for years. Let's lose the old marks and messes and stop new ones in their tracks. Let's worry-proof our walls. Let's do this. More safe. Want to watch all your live TV channels on any device in your home? With Xfinity, every channel that's on your TV is on your tablet, anywhere in your house. Oh my gosh. You can do this on your phone also. You can do it on your phone, you can do it on a tablet. You can watch all your live TV on any mobile device. Ooh, that's exciting. And you wouldn't have to argue ever again. <laughs> That is a great idea. <laughs> With live TV on every device in your home, everyone gets to watch what they want. Upgrade to an Xfinity X1 Triple Play today and save when you bundle. See for yourself. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. Maxwell's is now open in the Driftwood Plaza of Jupiter. Gold, silver, coins, diamonds, jewelry, paintings, and objects of art. If you don't want it or wear it, sell it to Maxwell's. We buy and sell diamonds of all sizes, clarity, and condition up to 10 carats in size and above. We have decades of experience buying and selling gold, coins, diamonds, and objects of art. Maxwell's, located in the Driftwood Plaza on US-1 in Jupiter, Florida. There's no obligation, and you can receive a decision in minutes. Visit us online at ondeck.com today. Weather Geeks, today at noon on the Weather Channel. Some news to update you on. U.S. military officials say one airman is dead, two others missing after they were swept away by high waves caused by Typhoon Fanfan. According to NBC News, six people were taking photos on the northwest coast of Okinawa when four of them got caught in the waves. Yeah, one of them was able to climb to safety. The other three, though, were swept away. The Japanese Coast Guard and U.S. helicopters for the Kadena Air Base are actively searching for the other two people. In the meantime, Japanese media are now reporting that a twin 21-year-old surfer is missing in the Kanagawa prefecture. So we're going to keep you on top of this particular story as well. And let's go to Dr. Postel. He's going to start closer to home and then get to some of these typhoons. Yeah, it's all in the Pacific, though. That's what you're watching, Doc, right? That's exactly right. The Atlantic is real quiet right now, guys. That's good news. Let's look at Hurricane Simon in the East Pacific. Actually, not that far away from Mexico right now. It's 100 mile per hour in the wind speed. It is weakening, moving over cooler and cooler waters. But you know what? It's going to be headed that way like so many of the other tropical systems have this year in the East Pacific. So let's have a look here where it's going. Hurricane Simon on its way through cooler and cooler waters. Those are the blue and green shades I put on the background there, the water temperatures. And as it moves over the cooler waters, it is going to weaken. It's not going to have enough energy to support those big thunderstorms anymore with the cooler water temperatures. So that's good news. You can see that by midweek we are dealing with a 30 mile per hour tropical system. Basically a depression, a low level cloud swirl, a remnant low, whatever you want to call it, moving across parts of Baja and maybe even part of Mexico. So what does that mean for the U.S.? 
But you know what? It may bring some moisture into the southwest U U.S. again, like we saw earlier with Norbert and uh, some of the other tropical cyclones. So this is what we're going to be dealing with, perhaps some uh, moisture return into the southwest, and that could lead to more rainfall perhaps for Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, and then maybe even from there farther to the east. So this is something to keep an eye on over the next several days. Watch the track of Simon and the remnants of it as it moves into the United States. Now let's turn our attention to the West Pacific, Typhoon Fanfun, which is a 105 mile per hour typhoon. Typhoon just being another name for a hurricane in this part of the world. It is weakening and essentially paralleling the Japanese coast. So I think it's gonna go like that. But that means it's going to go over a lot of people and bring some significant hazards. It's very populated in that part of Japan. And very heavy rain right now is falling across the region. Here's the radar. All those blues and yellows and reds. That's heavy rain that's accumulated well over six inches in many places. And in fact, here are just a couple of reports that we've gotten. Tokyo has gotten over five inches and they're nowhere near where the center is right now. It's way down here. So they've got a lot more rain to go. Some of the places closer to the uh, center of the circulation have gotten over a foot of rain. That's the kind of amount we'll be dealing with. In addition to what's already fallen, this is how much we expect. Look at the numbers, perhaps as much as a foot of rain more to come across parts of eastern Japan. The winds are slowly beginning to pick up, but really I'm not impressed by the wind speeds yet. There's the center of circulation. All the big rain and wind is out here in this zone. And notice the wind reports, 14, there we go. And uh, they'll be picking up, but I think 50 mile per hour wind speed seems like a good number for some of these locations later on today. Stay tuned for all the latest. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Doc. And it, uh, those can be spooky, I yeah. suppose. But yeah. how about this? Just in time to ring in that Halloween spirit, the Weather Channel is launching a new haunting series, American Supernatural. Over 300 years ago, in the midst of a deadly global freeze, the people of Leonardtown, Maryland, were desperate for answers. With every deep freeze, with every blizzard, people's lives were at stake. Legend has it, a witch was to blame for the fatal cold, and the colonists were out for blood. They were willing to do whatever it took to save their town, even if it meant murder. Today, the ghost of Leonardtown's deadly past is said to terrorize the living. All of a sudden, it was like, bam, lightning, thunder. When temperatures strike their lowest lows, residents are reminded of the witch's frigid murder. I can't get out! The revenge is still there, and to this day, Mal Dyer is still angry. An anger so fierce, it lives on in local legend, and a deadly curse that has continued to plague this small town for over three centuries. American Supernatural, premiering October 5th on The Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 78 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, a mix of clouds and sun. High 81. Winds north at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, some clouds, low 67. Winds north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook.
welcome to Weather Geeks. Uh, we're today we're talking about what happens when severe weather meets large venues. You just saw a lightning strike there at a, at a football game. And joining me is Dr. Kevin Clazel, who's meteorologist at the University of Oklahoma Office of Emergency Preparedness, and actually a former professor at the University of Florida State. I almost said the University of Florida. Oh, oh my. <laughs> um, and uh, it's really an expert in this topic. And you just saw that lightning video there from the football game. We, we're in the middle of the NCAA football season baseball season I'm seeing a lot of weather delays I mean what, what's the particular challenge with a video like well, that the weather delays are important because we're seeing more and more and that's a good thing so that means people are starting to get the message and starting to get that safety message but we're seeing far too many instances where people are still in the stadiums when the lightning hits yeah. so so there's still a lot of work to be done yeah, yeah. how do we, ch we we tell the players to get off the field I mean we have these delays I mean for example with the NCAA I, I'm a big college football fan and I, I know that there are more delays it seems like this year are, are there new rules or the in terms of the policies that are followed there are not new rules these are rules that have been into effect for a while, but there is more and more training going on and people now the awareness is coming up. And when the awareness comes up, people start to, to put in those good practices and then people start to imitate those good practices and hopefully that catches on nationwide. But, but what about the people in the stands? I, I saw a couple of games where the, the, the field was empty and people are sitting there and they're cloud to ground lightning strikes one, two, three miles away. We, we wouldn't do that on our own decks at our homes. Why, why do we sit in a 60,000 uh, person stadium during and a lightning storm? That is the million dollar question question everybody makes an individual decision and they decide for their own safety sake so we have to do a much better job as a community in terms of educating those folks as to what the risks actually are and being killed by lightning at a venue it's happened before yeah. a lot of people don't realize that well let's let's shift gears and talk about some things in terms of large venues where the weather forecast might come into play many people might remember the Sugarland concert at the Indiana State Fair uh, the stage collapsed in that particular instance I mean, how could we have avoided that or were there things that we were, mi were missed from a weather enterprise perspective there's a massive disconnect between the definition of severe weather the National Weather Service is very good at issuing warnings against a set of criterion so the 58 mile an hour winds are greater hail of a certain size if there's a tornado but in many instances these state fairs or staging companies or tents all of those types of venues those can come down in winds that are less than 58 miles right. an hour or they might have lightning and there are no warnings that officially come out for lightning so we have a mismatch between the products that people are used to seeing because uh, they may say well there's no warning so there's no danger and that's not true at these kinds of venues we need to come up with different ways of rating the danger so that the individuals at those places can understand it better well we know that that was certainly a tragedy and our thoughts are out to those involved are, are there things that we've learned that have come out of that event Absolutely. There are a lot of sort of mobilization of effort. And so uh, you've seen it on, on your show the last several weeks, the social media aspect, the, you know, the awareness aspect, more and more people learning about these kinds of things. Uh, the Event Safety Alliance is a group that was put together after that particular disaster. Uh, and those folks are a combination of folks from legal, folks from entertainment industry, folks from the meteorology profession that are all working together now to come up with some common themes that we can go out to those particular venues and do a better job training and ultimately get them to do a better job making decisions. And, and it's it's not just football. I mean, I've, I've seen a couple of Major League Baseball games this year. Um, I, I know we were talking earlier about, I think it was the Tampa and Detroit Tigers. Um, perhaps the pitcher was even spooked a little bit. His performance kind of went down a little bit in the yes. game. Even with the Daytona 500 earlier this year, I think there was a, a, torna a Doppler indicated tornado. There right. are 150,000 people. How do we get them out? And what those are do? just the people in the venue what about all the people that go to camp and spend the week there I mean you're talking about a quarter of a million people at risk at one of these NASCAR events or at something like the Super Bowl or at you know it every sport it's every place that you have an outdoor venue you have these issues but are there I, I can't imagine what the plan would be to evacuate hundred and fifty thousand people that's that's larger than some college football towns right. on a Saturday in terms of population you know one of the great things when we're talking about campuses and, and this is not going to apply to NASCAR but on campuses you tend to have hardened buildings nearby yes, good point and if you do that ahead of time and if you think about that risk ahead of time you can already have plans in place to start moving people to different locations 
I'll give you a story. Oklahoma State University, I went up there for a baseball game, and they were phenomenal. Before the game even started, they were like sending o OSU PD to the individual sections in the baseball stadium saying, okay, this section, when we get the word, we're moving you to that building right next door. This section, we're moving you to this batting cage over here, which is a hardened structure. So there was a plan. So yeah. there was a plan in place, yeah. and, and that's what we need to be able to get those best practices and successful practices out, and then have the university communities, the venue communities come and share those so that they can be used nationwide. Now, and I remember a case where it took Tom Izzo, the Michigan State basketball coach, uh, to tell people to move along. So we have these plans in place, but people still have to react to them. How do we How do we do that? Does it take the head football coach every Absolutely. time or basketball coach? Absolutely. And thematically, you've talked about this over the last several weeks. You have to do something extraordinary. Having to, you know, people respect Tom Izzo. If you've got a great basketball program, if you're at Duke, I would send Mike Shashevsky out there. You know, you have to do something where people respect the information. And unfortunately, our credibility in that world may <laughs> not right. be the same as Mike Shashevsky <laughs> or Tom Izzo. Yeah, that's a good point. And and I was gonna sort of piggyback on that. So, what is the role of the local TV meteorologist or the National Weather Service in these large venue events? How do they work with your office? Oh man, it's it's partnership, and that's one of the things that I. I have had to come in and and really try and put everybody on the same page because there's the opportunity to have so many different pieces of information. So one broadcast station might be saying, hey, you know, it's going to be 84 and nice at the game. Another one might be saying 96, high humidity. We might have heat illness. Okay. I have to be able to manage that information and work with, and the great thing about OU is that we've now put together a team, and it's not just meteorology. I'm a small portion of that team that includes OUPD. It includes the fire marshal. It includes the emergency preparedness manager, okay. and we're all on the same page, and we can build the hazards in together. So yes. it's an all-hazard system. And, and we'll talk more about that uh, when we come back on Weather Geeks. And when we come back on Weather Geeks, we're also busting the five most common Common lift, lit, lightning mist, including will lying down flat in a storm save your life? But first, our geek of the week, Miss Ohio 2014, Mackenzie Bart. She's a senior at the Ohio State University studying atmospheric sciences. She's a 2014 Miss America talent winner and top 10 finalist. When not on stage, she helps rebuild homes for Habitat for Humanity. your grandpa right under this tree some things are worth holding on to they're hugging the tree that's why we got a Subaru it wasn't that tree introducing the all new Subaru Outback love it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru pain from your day can haunt you at night don't let it Advil PM gives you the healing sleep you need, helping you fall asleep and stay asleep so your body can heal as you rest. Advil PM, for a healing night's sleep. Check. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. <gasps> no! Energizer protects your devices from damaging leaks. Guaranteed. Put on your thinking caps, evaporation rate equals 700 times the mean temperature divided by 100 minus the latitude plus 15 times temperature minus dew point temperature divided by 80 minus temperature times millimeters per day. So easy, Sam. A caveman can do it. Got it? Great. <laughs> there it is. That is amazing. Currently in our area, 78 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, a mix of clouds and sun. High 81. Winds north at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, some clouds, low 67. Winds north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Mondays, only the 
Weather Channel takes you this far. Inside a hurricane. Hurricane 360, Mondays at 9, only on the Weather Channel. Since 1902, Carrier has been inventing new ways to make people comfortable. And today, we're thinking even bigger. Thinking about the specifics of your home and how you live in it. What if you could control your home's energy usage with a fingertip? Or just let us do all the work for you? Well, what if is now what is. Carrier, turn to the experts. It's Sunday, your day to unplug. With CenturyLink as your technology partner, our visionary cloud infrastructure and dedicated support free you to focus on what matters. CenturyLink, your link to what's next. Ring, ring. Progresso. I can't believe I'm eating bacon and rich creamy cheese before my sister's wedding. Well, it's only 100 calories, so you'll be ready for that dress. Uh-huh. You don't love the dress? I love my sister. 40 flavors, 100 calories or less. Why do you want to shop at Walmart now for October's hottest items? Because you need to find happiness on rollback. In every aisle. Get thousands of items. Now on rollback. Save money, live better. Walmart. And welcome back to Weather Geeks. And now we're going to shift focus to the college campus. There are literally thousands of students and faculty and staff on a campus every year and many of them at our large outdoor venues sporting events and whatnot so we want to talk to uh, Dr. Clazel about his role on a major university campus, University of Oklahoma and the challenges in making a college weather ready, ready, storm ready, particularly when we see instances like this. We get students out there in the elements all the right. time. Their parents trust us or trust us as academics and, and scholars. It's, it's daily. Yes. I mean, when you think about 5,000 campuses in this country, 21 million students. That's a good point. And they're outside every single day. We have to do a better job of making them aware what the dangers are. And, and that's simply going into the classroom. So we are going classroom to classroom, faculty meeting to faculty meeting, putting in little paragraphs in their syllabus that says if we have a tornado and you're in this classroom, this is where you go. The ability to build in comms and, and notification systems that can actually tell the individual where they are, right. you know, what to do and, and those kinds exactly. of things. But ultimately, it's, it's an individual one by one kind of thing. Now, you even teach a course of some type at the University of Oklahoma, and I understand that that may be spreading perhaps to other universities I based do, on and, your and, and prototype. I do, and that's been fantastic because it's the ability to bring in the decision makers and have them interface with the students. And so now the students have a healthier respect that it's not just about getting the forecast out. It's about providing a forecast in a way that a decision maker can use it. So they get to meet with decision makers and they go through scenarios. We've taken them through scenarios on various college campuses. Uh, the Hurricane Arthur Union C. Wilmington case of earlier this year. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, that's you know, so there are plenty of instances just this year alone where campuses have been at weather risk and again it's not necessarily the the big severe things like tornadoes although they're, they're hugely important but just lightning or heat yes. I mean when you have all these outdoor activities and at the University of Oklahoma summer 41,500 <laughs> yes. kids at sports camps and wow. that is also under our purview yeah yeah and a good point and even in some of the colder weather events I mean I think you made the point about frigid temperatures <laughs> and seeing some of the fans out there yeah. with the shirts off boy there's, there's a hypothermia hypothermia risk there the best thing you can do there you're not going to be able to control behavior but you want to make sure that you have enough medical staff on hand to handle the potential potential issues. So if it's going to be a really hot day, really humid, you want to make sure that all of the medical staff are advised to what to look for. If it's a cold situation, Army, Navy even, I mean, you have all of these kids who are the most amazing kids That's on the right. planet and they have, they're naked, you know, from yeah, the, sure, from the sure. waist up and, and you just, you have to deal with it, go with it, but make sure that you've got the right medical staff. So, and, and so we've got a little under a minute left. If you were to summarize sort of two of the three of the biggest challenges in working, particularly particularly with a college environment on some of these issues, what would you summarize those as? Credibility. Okay. I think credibility in, in our field, we have to get better. And then, like you've mentioned in previous episodes, 
you have to be extraordinary. Yeah. If it takes going to a big board on the video board at a football game and showing a victim of lightning as part of a public service announcement, you have to do some really interesting things because if you do it the same way we've done it for 40 years. Shock, shock value, no yep. pun intended. It's not yeah. going to work. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, it, it really is an, an issue where uh, we're dealing with lives, and in some cases on college campuses, we're dealing with other people's and lives. And it's parents who put those kids, just like I've put my kids, you've put your kids in the hands of other people to protect them. They've done that with us, yeah. and we have to take that seriously. And, and I know that lightning has been a particular challenge, so when we come back at Weather Geeks, we're going to bust five of the common weather myths related to lightning. We hear all kinds out there. Plus, we'll geek out on the power of lightning with Kevin Clazel next on Weather Geeks. your car's not in the driveway. Yeah, it's in the shop. It's gonna cost me an arm and a leg. That's hilarious. Sorry. Should've taken it to Midas. Get some of that Midas touch. They'll tell you what stuff needs fixing and what stuff can wait. All right. Next time, going to Midas. High five. Ah, did not see that coming. Get the Midas Touch maintenance package, including an oil change for only $24.99. And here's the deal. Use your Midas credit card and get a rebate of $25. Oil, tires, brakes, everything. Trust the Midas Touch. Boston Market has food that makes you feel good, starting at $5.99, with salads and sandwiches, market bowls, and your favorite meals, all featuring our signature rotisserie chicken. Come to Boston Market today, where good food meets fresh thinking. It's here in your floor's crevices that vacuums leave microscopic allergens like these pollens and mold spores. But the Dyson DC65 uses a self-adjusting cleaner head for improved suction on hard floors and deep cleaning on carpets. While powerful cyclone technology captures even microscopic dirt and safely locks it all in here. DC65 sucks up more dust, dirt, and allergens than any other vacuum across carpets and hard floors. With diabetes, it's tough to keep life balanced. I don't always have time to eat like I should. That's why I like Lucerna Shakes. They have slowly digestible carbs to help minimize blood sugar spikes. Glucerna, the number one doctor-recommended brand. You owned your car for four years. You named it Brad. You loved Brad. And then you totaled him. You two had been through everything together. Two boyfriends, three jobs. You're like, nothing can replace Brad. Then Liberty Mutual calls. And you break into your happy dance. If you sign up for better car replacement, we'll pay for a car that's a model year newer with 15,000 fewer miles than your old one. See car insurance in a whole new light. Liberty Mutual Insurance. Let's get weather geeky this morning. I'm going to kind of walk you through the life cycle steps of a tornado, including what first begins as a funnel cloud. As it gets organized, that funnel comes all the way down to the ground. You often then see debris. As women, we always talk about how we should look or what's the best way to lose weight. But for me, it finally became all about how I feel. I looked in the mirror and I saw what I didn't want to see, the truth. I was 50 pounds overweight. That was a rough day. That's when I decided I had to lose weight. So I chose the only simple option for me, Nutrisystem. And now with Fast Five from Nutrisystem, you can lose weight fast. Lose five pounds in your first week or your money back guaranteed. I lost 50 pounds on Nutrisystem. Order your 28 day my way plan right now, including Fast Five. Get one week of specially designed meals, plus one week of energizing shakes free, and one week of Craving Crusher shakes free. So why do I keep telling you about Nutrisystem? Because it works, and I know it'll work for you. Plus, check out our Nutrisystem D program for people with type 2 diabetes. Call 877-384-DIET and lose your first five pounds fast. Shipping, and even pay the return postage. Try No-No risk-free today. Currently in our area, 80 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 81. Winds north at 10 to 20 miles per hour.
tonight. Cloudy intervals, low 68. Winds north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Busting time here on Weather Geeks in our segment called Hail No, and that's H A I A L. I've gotten in trouble with a couple of family members. Uh, this airs on Sunday, but here are the five most common lightning myths. We've all heard these. Number five: structures with metal or metal on the body, like jewelry, attract lightning. Well, metal doesn't really attract lightning, but it does conduct it. So stay away from metal fences, bleachers, et cetera. And that's one of the interesting things because many of these stadiums are, have a lot of Aluminum metal. seating, yes, exactly. That's right. Number four, if caught outside and lightning is a threat, I should lie flat on the ground. Actually, lying flat increases your chance of being affected by ground current. So that's certainly something we want to advise against as well. Number three. You should seek shelter beneath a tree to stay dry during a thunderstorm. No, that's absolutely not the case. Being under a tree is the second leading cause of lightning. I was out on the golf course one day with some colleagues and they wanted to do that. And I was like, no, the director of the UG Atmospheric Sciences Program, we can't have that happen. That would look quite bad. Number two. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. Well, in fact, the Empire State Building is hit almost 100 times a year. And I think we have some video showing uh, an example of that and also the Willis Tower in, in Chicago. So uh, clearly that's not the case. And Kevin, you think number one is one of the most important of all. Of all. If it is, isn't raining or cloudy outside, you're safe from lightning. That's you know, one of the biggest things that we have a problem with is people now get so focused on the pretty colors on their television set. Yeah. So when they're looking at radar and they think if I'm outside the pretty colors or if I'm outside the red, I'm not in danger. We see so many lightning strikes that occur outside of that core of the updraft. It's where the ice particles are being lofted out exactly. and you can get, you know, lightning out of the anvil and but the you anvil can get lightning, cloud to strokes. ground strokes well outside of the reflectivity maxima in these storms. And so a a lot of people kind of use radar as their tool, and if they're doing that without having a viable lightning data set, then they're probably going to make a terrible mistake. Yeah, I, I think that's right. That's one of the most important pieces of information on the show today, because I, I, I hear that often. Oh, it was, it's not raining. I should be okay. I'm not going to get struck by lightning. Absolutely not the case. And that's, that's what really worries me about some of what I've seen in some of the football games and baseball games as well. And our, our private sector companies out there are providing lightning data now, and, and that's, if you're a on a campus or if you're at a venue, I and mean, that's one of the most important data feeds you can have yeah, yeah, is and, that lightning that's data a, set. That's a good opportunity to really uh, thank the members of the private enterprise within Absolutely. the weather enterprise because there are a lot of partnerships between the federal sector, private companies, and academia really making lives safer. And they have, you know, the weather service has access to that data and, and I have access to those data and so that, those are incredibly important from a protective standpoint. So it's, it's time to geek out now. We're going to look at some lightning videos. So take a look at this lightning video, Kevin. I want your thoughts on this. We're going to have some slow motion lightning from the Netherlands this spring. And this is just some of the uh, interesting lightning uh, patterns that we see. Many people think cloud to ground lightning is the most common, but about 80% of lightning is actually cloud to cloud, or so only about 20% is cloud to ground, but it's the most dangerous. Right, and that's the problem because you, you can't predict first strike. Right. So the ability to actually see lightning coming kind of gives you a little bit of a warning. And of course, lightning comes with its own audible safety warning, you yeah, know, that thunder, thunder that goes right. with it. Absolutely. Uh, but first strike is always a problem, and whether that's a cloud to cloud or cloud to ground, it's that's a tough yeah. piece to forecast. Right, and, re and remember, light travels faster uh, than sound, so if you see lightning, start counting uh, roughly about five seconds or so, and for every five seconds or so, it's a mile yeah, away. Yeah, in fact, we're telling people, if you see lightning or hear thunder, don't count, just get <laughs> just indoors. Get out, get out when of the thunder way. roars, that's go that's indoors, that's don't correct. count. That is correct. <laughs> So we, we really would love to hear from you know, your thoughts on this particular show and others. You can find us on Twitter at WXGeeks, TWC. We also have a Facebook page where you can find clips from today's show and a few of our past shows as well. And I really want to congratulate our guest, Dr. Kevin Clazel, who was recently awarded the American Meteorological Society's Charles Anderson Award, which is a really high honor. So I want to congratulate Thank you, you for much. that. Thank you very much. Thank you. And it's been an honor to have you on the show. And we thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you all Weather Geeks. Join us back here next week at 12 noon Eastern on Weather Geeks.
We all have to plan for retirement. But when we start worrying about tomorrow, we miss out on what matters today. At AXA, we offer advice and help you break down your retirement goals into small, manageable steps. Because when you plan for tomorrow, it helps you live for today. Can we help you take a small step? For advice, retirement, and life insurance, connect with AXA. Tomcat bait kills up to 12 mice, faster than decon. What will we do with all of these dead mice? Tomcat presents Dead Mouse Theater. Hey, old freck. Hey, Ignar. What's up with you? Funny you ask. I'm actually here to pillage your town. But we went to summer camp together. Summer camp is over. Tomcat. Engineered to kill. This is Conley, Cameron, Zach, and Clementine. We have a serious hairball issue. <laughs> we clean it up and turn around, and there it is again. It's scary. Hold it in my eye. Underneath the kitchen table, underneath my work desk, we've got enough to knit a sweater. <laughs> Zach, what is that? Well, the Swiffer Sweeper. It's like the Swiffer Dusters. It's some sort of magic cloth that sucks in all the dog hair. It's quick and easy. Pretty amazing that I picked it all up. I would totally take on another dog. Really? Guys, you're not going to believe this. Watch this. Sam always gives you the good news in person, bad news in email. Good news. FedEx has flat rate shipping. It's called FedEx One Rate, and it's affordable. Yeah. That's great, Nick. And we have to work the weekend. Great. More good news. It's Friday. Woo! Ship a pack via FedEx Express Saver for as low as $7.50. From coast to coast, in every state, people all across the nation are learning something new. That the best way to protect their cars, trucks, and SUVs is with WeatherTech floor liners. They're laser measured to perfectly protect your specific vehicle, front, back, even up the sides. Order yours today at WeatherTech.com or call 1-800-CARMATS. WeatherTech floor liners, proudly made in America. 7 a.m. on AMHQ. Let's get you in front of today's weather. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What a gorgeous start. Weekday mornings on the Weather Channel. When the wind blows, the cradle will... American Supernatural. Beginning tonight at 10 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 80 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, sunshine and clouds mixed. High, 81. Winds north at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, cloudy intervals, low 68. Winds north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Welcome back to Weather Center Live. We hope you enjoyed Weather Geeks. Good program this week. Yeah. I mean, I, I battle with that myself. If you're right. out and about and you know that there's storms nearby, but you right. don't really want to leave yet, where's the public safety come in? It, it was a good piece. Uh, yeah. We need to get a little like Maury Povich style into Weather Geeks. Like <laughs> okay. I want someone's baby mama to come in. Maybe they're working on that Can for a future show. Can we make that show. happen? That yeah. might be next week. Yeah. Maybe. Who are you? 
Tell everyone your name in case they oh, don't know. I'm Keith Carson. It's true, and I'm Mark Elliott. And you know what? As you watch us today, send us pictures of what you're up to. Use the hashtag YourWeekend on social media, and we'll get more views like this one. Look at that from Brigantine, New Jersey. Yeah, that's a good shot there. It's uh, looks like a sunset probably last night, huh? Think? Yeah, yeah, or a sunrise. It uh, it's hard to tell. Yeah, I guess it could be, depending on the direction that you're facing there. But it is a good shot, and we'd like to see more of those for sure. Hey, let's take you to a live shot now of New York City. Gorgeous there right now. Uh, you know, we showed a similar camera yesterday. Socked in, foggy, couldn't see the buildings. What a change today. And we were promising you that the second half of the weekend would be good, and we delivered on that one for sure. Here's a look at Times Square. Uh, a lot of people there. It's still cool for sure, but going in the right direction and we'll take the sunshine because the sun angle this time of the year relatively strong still so you can get in the sun even though it's only going to be in the 50s it feels decent 56 in new york but when you go in the shade you get in the shadows you'll feel the difference it feels a lot cooler for sure so mid 50s there you take a look up towards uh, augusta and boston here at 60 degrees they actually stayed a little bit warmer across northern new england last night because the jet stream kind of dug out this way still cool in buffalo sitting at 45 and some lake effect rain showers there one of the few areas of precipitation anywhere in the country today is that lake effect rain showers could be worse could have been snow showers the computer models got all excited about that a couple days ago then they were like oh sorry we were wrong about that but there's this big upper level low up here kind of spinning some of this cool air down but the sun angle again fighting that over time so we'll start to warm up a little bit tomorrow it's kind of a short thing though because we get a warmer southwest flow around a high but that's only before the next cold front moves in so you get a day or two of slightly warmer temperatures then you get some rain in there and things cool back down it's october it's gonna be hard to stay warm in this neck of the woods so today 61 in boston 60 in new york 63 in dc so yeah cool uh 52 in buffalo again they're gonna stay cool with that that rain shower activity continuing through tomorrow temperatures a little bit warmer 67 in boston 69 in new york 75 in dc and by tuesday still pretty nice 69 in boston 72 in new york 74 washington dc and most of these spots what's actually going to be above average new york average high is 68 so we're in the 70s for Tuesday and Wednesday. That's part of the story. The other part of the story is that with that persistent trough, we will continue to see systems coming and moving in. It's all part of one bigger system, little impulses of energy moving along that. So even though we're going to warm up a little bit, it will remain unsettled with showers moving back into the forecast tomorrow across western Pennsylvania, the Ohio Valley, West Virginia. And as we head into tomorrow night, and then into uh, Tuesday, we're going to see these showers move their way into New England and eventually becoming a heavier rain on Wednesday across northern New England. So again, enjoy today. Tomorrow looks good. After that, the wheels kind of fall off the wagon. Mark? And Keith, that jet stream is the basically the border zone for the other side of the eastern U.S., the southern part, which is going to warm up south of that jet stream and give you some extra showers as well. Look at these temperatures that are possible here over the next couple of days. The best chance of tying a record looks like it's in Oklahoma City, 94 degrees in the forecast for Tuesday. But no slouch for Dallas or Shreveport. You're going to be plenty warm, close to your all-time record temperatures across this area. So let's get into the details details here. Right now, there's still plenty of cool air. You look towards Atlanta, 63, Nashville, 63, and it's not super hot yet from Shreveport to Dallas, but that will be changing because we've got this uh, jet stream bending back towards the north. As Keith was just telling us, uh, warm air comes up from the south, not only kicks up the temperatures here, but also really brings up the moisture. So we're going to see both the heat and the humidity on the increase here. Look at Dallas uh, today, 86, Oklahoma City, 86. That's the beginning of the warmth but it is going to get much more robust as the time goes on. Closer to 90 by tomorrow, and then by Tuesday, low to mid-90s, Oklahoma City to Dallas, and even Nashville to Atlanta will be warmer, although they're, you're closer to that cold pool of air uh, in that area. But we are also looking at the storm threat. That is the other part of this coin, because we're going to be following this jet stream and the impulses uh, riding along that jet stream. Each one of these is going to be kicking up the chance for more stormy weather. So uh, we've got the humidity on the increase, so the Moisture will be there, and with that uh, kind of border zone, the jet stream and the cold fronts, that's where we're going to be seeing the threat of severe weather. Memphis, Muscle Shoals, Nashville, you are included in that. It's spotty hail, maybe some gusty winds as well. And once the rain gets here, it's going to be hard to get rid of it. We're going to be looking at rain and storms Monday night into Tuesday. And, and Keith, uh, we are going to continue to see this stormy pattern here several days in a row with yeah. more scattered uh, mess, really. Uh, yeah. Look at this. All the way through Thursday, we've got the chance.
chance for storms in Nashville. But at least we warm back up right into 81. People down here in Atlanta saw it was a little bit cool lately. Hey, all weekend we've been on a bit of a road trip enjoying those fall temperatures yeah. <laughs> while we have them. And what better way to celebrate fall than to stop at Oktoberfest? Yeah, you know, since Thursday, Alex Wilson and Mike Seidel have been on the road. They stopped in Arkansas and Mississippi. It's part of the It's Amazing Out There Fall Tour. We had to prove it by getting out there. Yeah, we did. This reminds me we needed like a little Pac-Man chasing them. Yeah. It's day four. The trip is coming to an end here in Georgia, but not before a little fun. And Helen and guys, what's going on there? How's Helen looking today for Oktoberfest? I feel like Pac-Man. For how much we've eaten. Have you, I just saw the map for the first time. They've got the Weather Channel up here at Hofer's on the main street in Helen, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's like 1,500 miles, and we haven't gotten home yet. But look at the spread today. It's Oktoberfest, and the town is filling up because as of 12:30 Eastern, it's beer 30. It's is beer what 30. It is. That's right. Here, <laughs> wait a minute. Here they come right uh, here. Our beers are coming in channel. here. Well, maybe not for us, but here no, comes one. No, it is for us. Thank you so oh my much. Gosh. Hofer's, they have been taking care of us. I feel like I'm in Germany. Germany. It's a, a little Bavarian feel up in North Georgia. It's great stuff. We've got the music in the yes. background. We've got uh, Oktoberfest pretzel, Reuben, bratwurst, and uh, chicken skewers. Chicken skewers, brat on a bun with pretzel a sour bun. Crowd. How about pretzel that? bun with a sour crowd. And then, what are you having? A uh, Reuben. A uh, Reuben. And what, what's more German than that? And then we've got, uh, you know, a nice and beer I want you in the to know because, because I've never drank right. that. Way Me back either. on, way back on, <laughs> when owls give birth to two-headed frogs, way back on Thursday, way back on Thursday, they already told me that by Sunday, after driving 1,500 miles, that I was the designated driver yes, all did. the way back to Atlanta, and that's the case. In an we didn't hour even so, play rock, paper, scissors. No, just... in an hour or so, they're going to probably have a little bit of the Oktoberfest libation. A little bit. When, when in Helen... Do, do it, as the Bavarians do, yes, correct? Yes, do as the Hellenites do, yes. Exactly, exactly. So, but you know, this has been an exciting trip. Can't beat the weather today. You know, we're getting that cool, crisp feel to the air, but it's still not so cold that you can't sit on the patio. I mean, the patio's packed, and I mean, the music's great, but it's not the, just the music drawing people out. And in the next hour or so, we're going to take a walk up Main yeah, Street on this sunny afternoon here in North Georgia and show you the sights of Oktoberfest. So stay with us. First, though, we're going to chow down and eat our <laughs> yes. food. I, I expect to see you guys working on your polka with the music that you've got going there. I want to see some dance moves. Heck yeah! <laughs> you know, uh, there you go. I don't you know, know if that counts uh, as a polka, but it's, it's seen, pretty good. I've seen Wilson dance the cachet. You do not want to go where that is going. You do not want to go down that road. Maybe after the giant mug of frosty beverage, the dance moves will get better. Yeah, that's how it works for most people. Thanks, guys. We're going to check back in with them shortly. In the meantime, we're going to talk more about uh, the Northeast and quiet weather yep. for the most part. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 81. Winds north at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, cloudy intervals, low 68. Winds north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Dad, I know I haven't said this often enough, but thank you. Thank you, Mom, for protecting my future. Thank you for being my hero and my dad. Military families are uniquely thankful for many things. The legacy of USAA auto insurance could be one of them. If you're a current or former military member or their family, get an auto insurance quote and see why 92% of our members plan to stay for life. Progresso. I can't believe I'm eating bacon and rich creamy cheese before my sister's wedding. Well, it's only 100 calories, so you'll be ready for that dress. Uh-huh. You don't love the dress? I love my sister. 40 flavors, 100 calories or less. Snack time! On it. Isn't this my breakfast cereal? 
It's also a snack. So it's snack real. Clever. Your favorite cereals at any time of day. All at unbeatable Walmart prices. Guaranteed by Savings Catcher. Save money, live better. Walmart. You pay your auto insurance premium every month on the dot. You're like the poster child for paying on time. And then one day, you tap the bumper of a station wagon. No big deal until your insurance company jacks up your rates. You freak out. What good is having insurance if you get punished for using it? Hey, insurance companies, newsflash. Nobody's perfect. For drivers with accident forgiveness, Liberty Mutual won't raise your rates due to your first accident. See car insurance in a whole new light. Liberty Mutual Insurance. That disease is for older people. Not me. I take good care of myself. I'm active. I never saw it coming. It hit me like a ton of bricks. Pneumococcal pneumonia was horrible. The fatigue, the chest pains, difficulty breathing. It put me in the hospital. You don't want to go through what I did. If you're over 50, talk to your doctor. You may be able to prevent it. Check. Energizer protects your devices from damaging leaks. Guaranteed. With Crizal No Glare lenses, neither water, nor scratch, nor smudge, nor glare of night can keep you from the clearest vision possible. And Crizal has ESPF 25 to protect your eyes from the damaging rays of the sun. Crizal. Live life in the clear. Let's stay a step ahead of this. Size up that. And stay toasty in here. And let's not do any of this. Let's go to school. Let's go to save, and then let's go to town. So we can enjoy the view and look for what's next. Let's do this, more saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Get Owens Corning EcoTouch R30 insulation for just $13.98 a roll. Need new tires? Right now at Pep Boys, when you buy three select tires, you get the fourth tire free, instantly. Plus, get up to $80 off select Cooper and Hankook tires. Trust the boys to get you there. What if there was a credit card where the reward was that new car smell and the freedom of the open road? A card that gave you that I'm 16 and just got my first car feeling. Presenting the Buy Power card from Capital One. Redeem earnings toward part or even all of a new Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, or Cadillac with no limits. So every time you use it, you're not just shopping for goods. You're shopping for something great. Learn more at buypowercard.com. We're three generations of one family working on a piece of land here. Oh my God, it's basketball! It's living and facing danger every day. Ooh. Alaska, The Last Frontier. New season on Discovery. Well, today, the largest air show in the country wraps up its third and final day of dazzling crowds in San Diego. Look at that. Look how close those planes are flying next to each other there. The show is at the Marine Corps Air Station at Miramar, and there are 250,000 people that are expected to attend. Thing is, it's extremely warm. Uh, this show happens uh, usually in temperatures that are in the 60s and 70s. Not the case this year. You got to schedule in some break time. Remember the sunscreen and even get a little bit of extra bottles of water uh, ready to go. Because look at some of these temperatures in Southern California today. 91 for L.A., 94 in Phoenix. But even San Diego, you'll be in the upper 80s to low 90s. It is going to be balmy out there, that's for sure. You want the fall feel? Look at this. 51 Minneapolis, 55 in Chicago, 60 in in New York. The other thing to note here, we did not forget to color in the map with precip chances. This is just actually the forecast today. I cannot remember a, a day that is quite this quiet. Uh, across the country, but it's not going to stay that way. Let's just move along in the seven day forecast and look what happens here. Tomorrow storms from Tennessee to northern Mississippi to northern Alabama, the chance of hail and even some wind. And this is underneath a trough of low pressure, which really isn't going to move very much over the next several days. So once you get into the showers there, Keith, we're going to keep getting them across the mid south. Over to you. All right. Yeah, crazy quiet today. This is the first weekend of October, obviously, and many folks are spending it enjoying the gorgeous fall color. Our Gen Car Magno has some great destinations you might want to try and put on your itinerary. 
Depending on where you live, the leaves are already changing and maybe you want an inexpensive way to take in the view with your family. TripAdvisor has done the work for you, crunching the numbers on the gas, the food, the roadside tours that will make for an affordable fall road trip. Wendy Perrin from TripAdvisor joins us right now with more great ideas. Wendy, good morning to you. Good morning to you. So let's talk about uh, the best spots to go right now where the leaves are already changing, like in New England. Sure. Yeah, well, you know, at TripAdvisor, we've identified the most affordable full foliage getaways, and the most affordable in New England is Stowe, Vermont, which is amazing because it's this you know, picture postcard, mm -hmm. New England Village, um, and it's a great time for fall festivals. There's the Oktoberfest uh, this weekend, the the Foliage Art and cra Crafts Festival next weekend. Okay. Yeah. Now let's go south. Um, no, we're not quite at peak yet, or even changing a little bit, but you know, let's plan ahead going to the Mid Atlantic and the south. Right. Um, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania is a great uh, choice for later in the month um, because, you know, of course, it's steeped in Civil War history. Mm -hmm. You've got the battlefield and all that, but also there's the National Apple Harvest. Harvest Festival happening. That's happening this weekend, actually. Oh, that sounds perfect, yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, let's go to the Midwest, where actually we had a lot of color change. The weather is changing as well for the you know more seasonal, cooler, and uh, and with, the, with that we'll see more color. Yeah. Well, in the in the Midwest, um, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, is a great place to take in the colors around the lake. It's just gorgeous, and there's this 20 mile, 21 mile walk around the lake where you actually cut through the backyards of famous historic homes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. But then also down uh, south in Gap. Gatlinburg, Tennessee, in the, in the heart of the Smoky Mountains, that also is a great place for fall foliage. The, it lasts seven weeks there because the vivid colors change, you know, as they go down the, the mountain. Exactly, yeah. from the elevation down the mountainside to the foothills. All right, so Gatlinburg. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, I mean, what about in the West? Because there, too, you have the yes. same thing. You get the color that comes down the mountain. Yeah, and in Ashland, Oregon, we've identified that as the most affordable fall foliage getaway in the country. Uh, and um, it's great because not only do you have, I mean, Ashland is a gorgeous little city with a vibrant art scene, but also it's got the Oregon Shakespeare Festival, so you can take in the colors while you're taking in the performances. Oh, that's great. And with TripAdvisor, of course, you're getting a lot of feedback from people who have already been to these places, right? Oh, sure, of course. Yes, yeah, so you can go into our forums and you can ask questions about all of these places and get answers, you know, about the, the most fun things to do. And of course, there are the attractions. If you go to each of these different destinations and look up the number one attraction, number two, number three attractions, it gives you so many ideas for fun fall things to do. Oh, that's excellent. Great ideas. Wendy Perrin, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Well, as your eyes may be on the fall foliage, our eyes are staying in the tropics. What we expect for each of these typhoons to do as the week continues. Yeah, and we got an interesting story out of there, too. Some uh, airmen are lost right now. Uh, developing story. We'll keep you on top of that. We'll be right back. How do we get a little fun in the sun for free? I stayed one time. We stayed another time. And now we're all staying one night free. Great endings begin here. Right now, when you book at any of these Choice Hotels and take two separate trips, you earn one night free. Book now at choicehotels.com. From residential to commercial, from large loss to emergency response, whenever damage strikes, call on the cleanup team that's faster to any size disaster at 1-800-SERVE-PRO like it never even happened. Gorilla Glue. Of course. Water activated. Original Gorilla Glue expands into the materials to form an incredibly strong bond for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Hey, what's up? I'm Ted. Rudy and I have a lot of daily rituals. Namaste. Stay. <laughs> Little things we do every day to stay healthy. Three. Two down. Skin of tree. <laughs> Bark. Taking care of our teeth is one of them. Every morning when I brush my teeth, he gets a milk bone brushing chew. Just another way to keep ourselves healthy. All right, I'm ready to go. I'll go change. Nothing I can't reach in my Subaru. Introducing the all-new Subaru Outback. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. 
going to want to watch 7 a.m. on AMHQ. This is a big weather morning. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What you watch in the morning matters. This is your weather geeky this morning. Make AMHQ your morning show. America's morning headquarters. Weekday morning starting live at 7 Eastern on the Weather Channel. When the wind blows, the cradle will. American Supernatural. Beginning tonight at 10 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 81. Winds north at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, cloudy intervals, low 68. Winds north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Great, this is the last thing I need. Seriously? The last thing you need is some guy giving you a new catalytic converter when all you got is a loose gas cap. Let's take this puppy over to Midas and get you some of the good old Midas touch. You know what? I'll drive. I really didn't think this through. Get the Midas touch maintenance package, including an oil change for only $24.99. And here's the deal. Use your Midas credit card and get a rebate of $25. Oil, tires, brakes, everything. Trust the Midas touch. We make lots of compromises for our pets, but never when it comes to their food. So at Petco, we offer leading grain-free products like Merrick, made from regionally sourced ingredients in small batches. Because for our best companions, only the best will do. Petco. A party? Hi, I'm new Insure Active Clear Protein Drink. Clear, huh? My nutritional standards are high. I'm not juice or fancy water. I've got eight grams of protein. Twist my lid. That's three times more than me. 17 vitamins and minerals. And zero fat. Hmm, you bring a lot to the party. Yay! New Ensure Active Clear Protein. 8 grams protein, zero fat, 17 vitamins and minerals. And delicious blueberry pomegranate and mixed fruit. Take life in. What does a 37 million horsepower launch feel like? Experience it for yourself. Only at Kennedy Space Center. As women, we always talk about how we should look or what's the best way to lose weight. But for me, it finally became all about how I feel. No tricks, just me. I looked in the mirror and I saw what I didn't want to see, the truth. I was 50 pounds overweight. That was a rough day. That's when I decided I had to lose weight. So I chose the only simple option for me, Nutrisystem. Check out Nutrisystem's Little Black Dress Kit. Now you can lose weight fast, lose five pounds in your first week, or your money back guaranteed. I lost 50 pounds. Order your 28-day My Way plan right now, including the Little Black Dress Kit. Get one week of specially selected meals, plus one week of energizing shakes free, and one week of Craving Crusher shakes free, and start slimming your belly. So why do I keep telling you about Nutrisystem? Because it works, and I know it'll work for you. Call 877-924-SIZE and lose your first five pounds fast with the Little Black Dress Kit. For 12 months, so call 888-4CHAMPION today because every home needs a champion. 7 a.m. on AMHQ. Let's get you in front of today's weather. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What a gorgeous start. Weekday mornings on the Weather Channel. Welcome back, everyone. And we're following the story out of Japan. U.S. military officials say that one airman is dead, two others missing after they were swept away by high waves caused by Typhoon Fanfan. According to NBC News, six people were taking photos on the northwest coast of Okinawa when four of them got caught in the waves. Yeah, one was able to climb to safety. The other three, though, were swept away. The Japanese Coast Guard and U.S. helicopters from the Kadana Air Base are actively searching for the other other two people and in the meantime Japanese media also reporting that a 21 year old surfer is missing in Kanagawa prefecture all right let's go now to Dr. Postel he's going to talk about all things tropics <laughs> 
Yeah, thanks, Keith. You know, that just goes to show you that uh, these systems, these tropical cyclones, can produce huge waves a long way from where the center of the circulation is or where the bad weather is. In fact, uh, Fan Fon never got near, the core of it never got near Okinawa, but still it produced huge waves and potentially some uh, fatalities with that, unfortunately. So very hazardous beach conditions, obviously, or coastal conditions right now along the entire coast of Japan, all up and down. There is the center of Fan Fon right now, moving rapidly on off toward the northeast now at about 18 miles per hour. 105 miles per hour is the estimated maximum sustained wind. I'm not sure it's that strong anymore. But it doesn't matter, there's gonna be a lot of rain and no doubt some gusty winds that will do some damage. Here we've got on the radar, there we got the blues and the yellows and the reds. This is the coast of Japan, the southern coast near Kochi. And we're still seeing some very heavy rainfall rates in excess of two inches per hour. We've seen some reports already of over a foot of rain in places, and you can actually see the center of circulation on this picture, the eye. You can see it moving from southwest to northeast across the page. Here it comes from the bottom part of your screen, right in there, and that is the eye. You can see that sort of clear spot moving slowly northward, and it's actually now probably going more east-northeast than northeast. There it is right there, and you can see right around it is where the absolute strongest winds are, so hopefully those will continue to move off toward the east northeast and miss Japanese coast entirely. I'm not so sure that'll happen. We'll see how strong the winds get, but uh, the rain may be the biggest of all stories. Here are some of those amounts that I just mentioned over a foot down south in Tokyo over five inches. Here's how much more rain is coming, perhaps as much as five to eight in places there. So it's a rain machine, and of course, that will be wind-driven rain. Here are the wind reports right now. These are sustained winds of 30 to 40 miles per hour across the region. The strongest of all the winds are, guys, right out here where the reds and the purples are. You can see that counterclockwise flow. Hopefully, these that core of winds will stay offshore and go in that direction. I still think it's possible that Tokyo and populated places nearby might see some wind gusts up to 75 miles per hour later on tonight. Eastern time, so maybe 12 hours from now. There's the cone. It's going to be weakening Fanfun on its way out into the North Pacific. And by tomorrow morning, say 24 hours from now, it will be long gone. Let's have, turn attention now to Typhoon Vongfong, much to the southwest, excuse me, southeast of the uh, one near Tokyo. This one is a 105 mile per hour typhoon going to get a lot stronger, and I mean a lot stronger. It may reach super typhoon status with winds over 150 miles per hour in a couple of days' time. This is an MRI view of it, so sometimes you can't tell what's going on inside the circulation just by looking at the satellite pictures or the traditional ones. Here's another view that kind of gets through the clouds and looks at the precipitation underneath, and that's where the center of circulation is. This image is a little bit old, a few hours old, but the idea is that all the really bad weather here is going to be likely moving north of Guam. They are going to miss it, but unfortunately the island of Rota will probably get hardest hit with this. Here's some of the latest wind reports. Anderson Air Force Base in uh, Guam sustained now 31. They were sustained 45. Again, this is likely the worst part of it moving in that direction and now soon moving away from Guam. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Doc. And the Weather Channel's haunting new series, American Supernatural, launches at 10 o'clock tonight. Yeah, here's a preview of the show exploring all those eerie tales of weather legends. Every town has its secrets, even quiet little Leonardtown, Maryland. And embedded in the deep, dark cracks of the town's history lies a story of witchcraft and murder so infamous, residents shiver at the name, Mall Dyer. I'm not a believer in, uh, in ghosts or witches per se, but you know, I, I believe things can happen that are unexplained and strange things have happened in, in Leonardtown. American Supernatural, Sunday nights at 10 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 82 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, sunshine and clouds mixed. High, 81. Winds north at 10 to 20 miles per hour.
tonight. Cloudy intervals, low 68. Winds north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. A chilly weekend, especially for the eastern two thirds of the country, but the low temperatures won't last. We're going to see more scenes like this one where the warmth and the wet return. Yeah, and uh, we here at the Weather Channel, we don't just want to tell you about the fall, we want to help you experience it from football games, the fall festivals, to so whatever the heck Alex Wilson is doing right there. <laughs> we'll show you what our fall tour team is up to today. And Typhoon Fanfun bears down on Japan. What makes this storm such a threat, even though it is no longer a super typhoon? Welcome back to Weather Center Live. I'm Mark Elliott. And I'm Keith Carson. Hey, we're following a developing situation in Japan. U.S. military officials say one airman is dead. Yeah, two others still missing. They were swept away by high waves caused by Typhoon Fanfan. According to NBC News, six people were out taking photos of the huge waves on the northwest coast of Okinawa when one of those waves got a little bit too close and actually swept four people out to sea. Yeah, one was able to climb to safety. The other three were swept away and Japanese Coast Guard and U.S. helicopters from Katana Air Base are actively searching for the other two people. In the meantime, Japanese media are also reporting a 21-year-old surfer has gone missing. Uh, Dr. Greg Postel will have the latest on this coming up in his tropical update. But Yeah, meanwhile, back towards the States, look at this, something you don't see very often. This is an extremely quiet weather map going on, Keith. A couple of showers in the Ohio Valley, most of these not even reaching the ground, and a couple of showers on the High Plains. That's yeah, it. It's quiet, except for this, but we'll talk more with that. Yeah, we'll get back to that one. A little bit later on. All right, let's take you to Boston right now, where it is gorgeous today, and I'm biased, because that's my, it's my hood, but still, it's nice, sunny, and uh, temperatures going to be recovering. So we're going in the right direction. Yesterday was awful, socked in, cloudy kind of day. That's the kind of day you like to see this time of the year, classic early October day. All right, let's talk about what's going on here in the Northeast. There will be some rain returning as the pattern will remain unsettled. Down east in northern Maine, always the last to say goodbye to these storm systems. And they're finally getting out of there up towards the county, up through uh, Eastport, that's extreme down east Maine. Pretty country, but man, it rains there a lot. Meanwhile, there's the lake effect uh, rain showers that Mark was talking about. The computer models earlier in the week were all excited about the possibility it could be snow, but they miscalculated a little bit. It's too warm. Instead, it's rain rain, cold rain, the rain, and through Buffalo. And you can see the winds right there directly over the lake. That's what's creating this lake effect rain shower activity. Big upper level low stalled out. It's going to be here for four or five days up in Canada. And it's going to allow these little disturbances to come along the jet stream and just zip through. They're not very big. They're not particularly juicy, but they'll give us some showers. So by tomorrow, western parts of Pennsylvania in through West Virginia, and then as we head into Tuesday, we'll get it in through New England and stalling on Wednesday across northern New England. Mark? And people in Dallas are still recovering from powerful storms that hit the city late last week. Thousands of homes are still in the dark today because of Thursday's storms. In fact, those storms knocked out power to 300,000 houses. Strong storms moved through and uh, and maybe even brought a, a building down, a blame for a building collapse. Here's the thing, the, the storms and the cool air not lasting too much longer. We're going to be in for a big warm up here across the south. Uh, look at some of these temperatures that you started with, though, warming up from here. Here. Well, you're warming up from records. Tampa, uh, you broke a record. You hit 57. So did Daytona Beach. How about Athens? 38. That's a chilly day. Your old record was 39. And it was all because of this big dip in the jet stream, allowing all that cool air to come on down. But that's going to change. We're going to see subtly winds coming back into play. The jet stream starts bending up towards the north. So you're going to get a chance to warm up here. Uh, it is going to be uh, a little soggy. We'll get to the rain story in a sec. But look at some of these readings. Mid-80s today across Dallas. 
Dallas and Oklahoma City by tomorrow closer to 90 in Dallas. You'll be closer to 80 in Atlanta, adding almost 10 degrees to your temperature uh, in just a day. How about this? Tuesday, 95 in Dallas, 94 in Oklahoma City. So the, the, the heat is certainly on. Coming at a bit of a price, though, because that uh, jet stream is going to be the uh, basically the dividing line between the cool air to the north, the warm air to the south, but also it's the conveyor belt of the storms. And so in between there, a uh, persistent period of showers and thunderstorms. Uh, not only is the warm air coming up, but the moisture is returning from the Gulf, too. So Keith, it means a chance of severe weather from Arkansas across Tennessee tomorrow and continued stormy in the same area all the way through Thursday. Over to you. All right, thanks, Mark. Well, hey, it's October. It's the time of year when beer lovers unite for Oktoberfest. So it's only right our fall road trip make a stop through one of the most popular spots in the south. On the It's Amazing Out There Fall Tour, we've been through Arkansas, Mississippi, and now in Georgia. That's where we find Alex Wilson and Mike Seidel. And guys, I got to ask you, have you bonded tremendously through this journey? Because you, you've been in a van together for a little while at this point. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. And in fact, uh, tomorrow we're going to go out and pick out some furniture. Right. I think. We are. And uh, they wore our outfits. We were almost well, going to wear these yeah, outfits together. James and Julie James. Anderson from Bell Buckle, Tennessee, near Murfreesboro, right? That's right. Yeah. yeah. yeah about so what brought you to Helen? Well, you know, we used to motorcycle ride through here, and we Speaking decided, that, you know, we need, to, <laughs> we need to get some costumes and, uh, you know, experience the real thing. So we've been having a great time. So you're not here to help out with the You're here to participate, and you just got these outfits. Support That's the right. Local uh huh. Awesome. And what's your favorite? What do I need to see? If I'm going to see one thing in uh, Helen, boy, what do I do? The best hall was so much fun, and I think it's open from 1 to 7. Today. They, today, today. They had polka dancing. We danced a chicken dance, you know. Wait a minute. Can the we put them on the spot? Pokey. Can we do can a little you, chicken dance? Can you dance? teach us the chicken dance? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I like it. Thank you. See, you know, we found these people and we were like, would you come? And they're like, heck yeah, we've been born to do this. What about you? You know, the best hall. Okay, great place to dance. What else do I need to see for my October stop, uh, fest stop if, in Helen? If you want to get authentic, like this stuff's from Bavaria. So right, actually right there, classics. Mm -hmm. for, right. So I can buy this for Mike they, and for Keith yes, in a yep. slim fit size. I've got my Halloween costume right here. <laughs> I go to Germany every year and, and bring them back. So Perfect. Yeah. And the uh, weather today, we're going heading up to 64. It was frosty it, this right? morning. <laughs> and tomorrow we may have a few afternoon storms back up to 70. So uh, it is just ideal. The town is filling up because... At 1230 here in this particular county, you can start drinking the beer. Yes, That's and uh, Keith, I'm getting you this in slim fit to put your short sleeve dress shirt underneath. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Sounds great to me. All right, thank you guys. Yeah, I knew you would. The slim fit is uh, is always in style, especially when it comes to Leyden hosen. And I actually want to see you guys dressed up in that next shot. Thank you so shot. much. That uh, was awesome. It. We enjoyed Thank it. You. Thank you. That was great. Yeah, you know, if, if you. Alex and Mike aren't back in studio wearing that stuff, <laughs> we're going to have a fight. <laughs> this is Pete. Pete is helping his aunt move, so he's not thinking about tires right now. But if he were, all he'd need to know is TireRack.com. He could view the complete selection of Continental tires at TireRack.com. Then he'd have the confidence to drive safely in any weather. But Pete's not thinking about tires. Pete's thinking it would have been nice if his aunt had mentioned the minor bird. TireRack.com. Find, deliver, install. We all think about life insurance. But when we start worrying about tomorrow... We miss out on the things that matter today. At AXA, we offer advice and help you break down your insurance goals into small, manageable steps. Because when you plan for tomorrow, it helps you live for today. Can we help you take a small step? For advice, retirement, and life insurance, connect with AXA. Monday morning on America's Morning Headquarters. Well, you might say we're bugging out over what some are calling the food of the future. Higher in protein than meat and more eco-friendly, but what's the catch? And on our It's Amazing Road Tour, it's fall out there. Highlighting our favorite fan photos. Send them in Monday, 7 a.m. on the biggest weather hour anywhere. America's Morning Headquarters. Currently in our area, 82 degrees under mostly cloudy skies.
today. Sunshine and clouds mixed. High 81. Winds north at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, cloudy intervals, low 68. Winds north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Mondays, only the Weather Channel takes you this far inside a hurricane. Hurricane 360, Mondays at 9, only on the Weather Channel. Let's stay a step ahead of this. Size up that and stay toasty in here. And let's not do any of this. Let's go to school. Let's go to save. And then let's go to town. So we can enjoy the view and look for what's next. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Get Atticat Loose Fill Blown In Insulation for just $29.68. Why do you want to shop at Walmart now for October's hottest items? Because you need to find happiness on rollback. In every aisle. Get thousands of items. Now on rollback. Save money, live better. Walmart. Now, Centrum Silver has a new easy-to-swallow coating. So the nutrients for your eyes, heart, and brain go down easier. For a limited time, get your $4 coupon at Centrum.com. Ring, ring. Progresso. I can't believe I'm eating bacon and rich creamy cheese before my sister's wedding. Well, it's only 100 calories, so you'll be ready for that dress. Uh-huh. You don't love the dress? I love my sister. 40 flavors, 100 calories or less. Welcome back to Weather Center Live. The heat hovered just below 100 degrees in Sacramento. And in San Francisco, temperatures reached the low 90s. Really warm for them. Fire officials warned the wind and high temperatures could make wildfire conditions worse there. The U.S. Fire Service implemented 24-hour firefighting staffing. And it's a long fire season for them because they've been in this historic drought and this ridge has built in over the past couple of days making it really really warm there right now it's 83 in LA but of course keep in mind if you're watching on the east coast or even central time zone what time of the day it is here in LA getting even warmer later in the afternoon right along the coast though a little bit cooler and you're seeing that in our heat advisories as well you notice that San Diego was in the heat advisory yesterday but today is not because we're going to talk about why in a second more specifically but keeping it away from the coastline is where all the heat is, and that heat advisory is in effect through the rest of today. So we had a big ridge of high pressure in place. That's been the past couple of days. Why do we go backwards? What are we doing there? You have to start this whole thing, and they didn't like the way I delivered that, so we're just gonna start over again. All right, so it's warm in LA. Let's try this again. Let's go a little bit faster through what I wanna show you, this ridge of high pressure, no heat advisories, okay. They're away from the coastline. This is like Groundhog Day with Bill Murray. We're just doing the same thing. We need Sonny and Cher's song. All right, there's high pressure moving away from the coastline. So the difference is a huge difference is that we go from offshore flow yesterday to onshore flow over the next couple of days. And that's big in a lot of parts of the country. California, definitely one of them because the Pacific is really, really cold here in the 60s. So you get the wind off the water, good luck getting hot when that happens. So LA, San Diego, up to San Francisco, gonna be a whole lot cooler, 10 to 15 degrees cooler and back to average because of that. So that's a real key here in Southern California and Central California as well. So through tomorrow, LA warm another day, 91 in Los Angeles, 83 in San Diego, 80 in San Francisco. Remember San Francisco, beautiful place, not a hot place though. Usually right around 70 this time of the year. As we head into Tuesday, you see that heat kind of shrink even farther. Uh, San Diego coming in at 82 degrees. And as we head into Wednesday, still temperatures right around average. Still a few degrees warm in San Fran, but being 74, a lot different than being 90 degrees. So going in the right direction. Mark? 
So joining us now, Dr. Taz Batia. We're going to talk about the flu and flu season, Doc. Uh, you know, people always seem to underestimate how powerful the flu is and, and, and the need to get that flu shot. I know. I think everyone, you know, fall and winter kind of sneak up on you and you think you yeah. can fight through it and you'll be absolutely fine. But the flu does sort of put everybody under. You can be sick for weeks. So it is important. One of the key preventive strategies is to get that flu shot. So let's tie it back to the weather. Why is it this time of year that we start to see the flu shot right as the seasons start to change? What's the correlation there? Well, what we know is that the flu virus grows when the temperature is cold and cool and it's very dry. That's when it can okay. grow. That's when it can spread. And then remember, we're all kind of enclosed and in kind of the same space throughout the cold season so it has an opportunity to grow more and so you're stuck with all those sick people and you know that someone's gonna come to work sick no matter how many times we tell them not to so how do we not get the flu what can we do I mean we've heard wash our hands and that's still key but that's what else is key. there I mean there are a couple of strategies you can use first of all wash your hands still stands you know that's one of the key ways the flu is spread wipe down your surfaces whether you're at work or at school or wherever you are because remember the flu virus does live on surfaces mm. get your flu shot the flu shot is appropriate for everyone from six months and older and then really keep your immune system primed. I think we forget this. You do need to sleep consistently. You need to lower the amount of sugar in your diet and watch your vitamin D levels because we know that low vitamin D levels lead to an increased chance of getting lots of different viruses. All right, yeah, you know, I think the, the idea of flu shots, you need more sleep. That always helps, and as Mark brought up before, it would be good to have a different job to get more sleep here. Hey, Fan Fun, no longer a super typhoon, that's for sure, but residents still preparing for possible evacuations. As the storm approaches, Japan will let you know how strong the conditions will be when it makes landfall in the next 12 to 18 hours and moving towards the heavily populated area of Tokyo, largest city in the world. You know what my business philosophy is, Reynolds? No, not exactly. To attain success, I must project success. That's why we use FedEx One Rate. They're flat rate shipping. Exactly. It makes us look top notch, but we know it's affordable. Honey, haven't I asked you to please we use don't the have reception, a reception entrance? entrance? Ship a pack via FedEx Express Saver for as low as $7.50. What's in a can of Del Monte green beans? If I was a flower growing wild and free, all I'd want is you to be my sweet honeybee. And if I was a tree growing tall and green, all I'd want is you to shade me and be my leaf. Grown in America, picked and packed at the peak of ripeness, with no artificial ingredients. Del Monte, bursting with life. where I met your grandpa, right under this tree. Some things are worth holding on to. They're hugging the tree. That's why we got a Subaru. It wasn't that tree. Introducing the all-new Subaru Outback. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Some cashback cards only let you earn bonus cashback at a few places. Then, those categories change every few months. First, coffee shops, then amusement parks. I am not amused. But the Quicksilver card from Capital One is going its own way. Because Quicksilver earns you unlimited 1.5% cashback on everything you buy, everywhere you buy it. Don't follow the crowd. What's in your wallet? going to want to watch 7 a.m. on AMHQ. This is a big weather morning. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What you watch in the morning matters. This is your weather geeky this morning. Make AMHQ. Want to lose denture paste ooze? I do. It's yucky. Tui. Oh, that paste is nasty. Seabon wafers hold clean with no ooze. Oh, that's me. Oh, yeah. Seabon. Lose the ooze. You the man. Oh, no. In the mouth. Gold Bond's new foot powder spray makes Shaq's feet very happy. New Gold Bond Foot Powder Spray. Two times the odor-fighting powders in a refreshing no-mess spray. Stay cool with Gold Bond. Catch the excitement of the pennant chase on MLB Network. MLB Tonight's analysts bring you live look-ins while breaking down pivotal moments from every big game all night long. Plus exclusive broadcasts of two division series games in October. 
All the pennant chase drama this September on MLB Network. Brought to you by Mazda. What do you drive? shipping and even pay the return postage. Try No No risk free today. When the wind blows, the cradle will. American Supernatural. Premiering tonight at 10 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 83 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 81. Winds north at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, cloudy intervals. Low 68. Winds north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Welcome back to Weather Center Live, guys. It's time for your tropical update. I'm hurricane specialist Dr. Greg Postel. Let's now look at Hurricane Simon. This is in the East Pacific, not far away from Mexico. This is a weakening hurricane, good news, but still pretty potent there, 100 miles per hour in the wind speed, moving toward the northwest at 10. It is not going to come anywhere near Baja, or the southern part of Baja, California, and uh, Cabo San Lucas in particular, but it may follow a similar path that some of those ones that got close to that area did. So what we're going to see is a track that's going kind of northwest, but then look what happens. It takes a right turn, and this guy will be moving over cooler waters. Those are the shades underneath the cone. Cooler waters that will help weaken it on that northeastward track. And by the middle of next week, we'll be dealing with not more than a remnant low, I don't think, with some moisture and a cloud swirl and maybe some breezes. That's about it.